hello dear friends. I have a special project going on today. One that I'm not only gonna share here as a video, but also that I'm going to be actually sharing with someone, like actually giving it to someone. Is it actually a project that's going to be turned into a giveaway? Now, um, normally, it's hard for me to try and host one giveaway in two different locations. So what I'm going to tell you is that this giveaway is going to be posted in my Instagram account. So if you would like to participate, once you know what it is, because once you know what it is, maybe you won't want to, but once you know what it is, I'm sure you might want to go and check it out on my Instagram account and enter for a chance to win. Uh, let's see, where am I going to start? I'm going to start by telling you, I guess, what it is. So this is an artist's apron. It's canvas. I bought it at Amazon. And I've decided that I'm going to paint it. Uh, my dear friends at Artisa uh, were so gracious to send me this uh, big, huge container of fabric paints to try out, to give a review, to play with them and see how I like them. And I kept thinking, well, what can I do? And of course, it's going to be a fun project, but I thought, why not turn it in, into a giveaway so someone can enjoy uh, this handmade, uh, hand-painted, hand-drawn, uh, fun uh, canvas uh apron that you can wear whether if you are an artist as in your painting maybe you don't want to get it dirty and you don't want to add paint uh, you know because we all have well I shouldn't say we all I definitely have one and I'll show it to you now this is a small apron that I found on clearance at Michael's I think and of course I've used it all the time and you can see uh, all the you know you wipe your your fingers and your hands and this is what happens to uh, aprons that we use when we are painting now obviously this one that I will be painting not this one this is the one I want to show you the other ones over here but um, it's going to have paint but it's going to have well or organized paint so um, I got this one on Amazon it was ten dollars there are some that are less expensive uh, it's kind of big, so I'm only going to show you the top part here. Oh, that's the side. So this one is adjustable. So the strap that goes around your neck, uh, you loop it through here, and then you can adjust, uh, you know, how high you want it on your chest. It has a pocket here, and this pocket is divided into a smaller pocket, which is a place for you to put, uh, let's see where you can put a brush or brush is a few of them that you know you can probably fit I don't know three or four things a pen a pencil and then this is a bigger pocket so um, I got this on Amazon too if you are interested I know a lot of times we show stuff on uh, your videos and then people wonder where did that come from so this is my um, a brush set and it kind of rolls up there's the name brand oku uko uku uh i'll put links to all of this stuff and then you just do that and then it kind of stays all together um so that's where the apron apron came from it has two other pockets one on either side so that's kind of cool and again i'm excited that this uh, paints are this will be my first time actually using them brand new and i have already drawn my design on the other apron and i'll show it to you here in a minute but i just wanted to show you the box uh you can see them right here and it gives you the name and number and then i open them and there is 24 of them and I think it comes with, I thought it came with two white ones. I'm, nope, I, I'm thinking of something else. Um, 
so there's tons of colors. I mean, again, you can kind of see them in here. Uh, purples, oranges, uh, reds, darks, greens, blues, uh, purples. And they, they're kind of bright. So they're kind of bright colors, but that kind of gives you the freedom to kind of add white and dilute them a little bit and then kind of create um, a different shades that will work for your project. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So there is tons of colors. So I'm excited to play with those. And let's see. Um, so they, here are the instructions of how to use these paints. Uh, it says to stir the paint before we use it. Apply directly from the bottle, but paint can be mixed and thinned with water, which is what I'm going to do. So that's why I have my little dish here ready to go. Uh, place a pad underneath the material to keep the paint from bleeding through. Let it dry for about six hours. To set the paint, iron the back of the piece that you're working on uh, using medium heat for approximately five minutes. Uh, it tells you to check the heat resistance of the fabric before ironing on uh, and do not use steam. Once you have ironed it, you can wash the item. It says up to 104 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and then wash and iron inside out. I think that's, you know, that you have to think if this is something that's going to be on your skin or something like that. But uh, obviously the apron is going to go over your clothes. You might need to wash it. You might not. But again, those are all good instructions to have. Um, they do give some tips. It says do a trial test on fabric. Clean the tools throughout with water. Uh, paint cannot be washed out of fabric. That's the whole point. Uh, wash and dry the fabric before decorating. Uh, let's see, ideal for decorations as light fabrics such as cotton, linen, and mix fabrics with a maximum of 20% synthetic fibers. So I've given you all of those um, uh, instructions here. I just saw this. If you join their club, the box has a 20% off coupon of your next purchase. That's kind of cool. Uh, so that's if you join the club. Now, let's get to the actual project and what it is. So here is the one I'm going to be painting. And I've already drawn my design. I want it to kind of be a simple thing, but meaningful. Making sure I'm in frame here. Um, I wanted it to be beautiful, but at the same time, you know, this uh, this apron, you can use it when you're crafting. So you, you're not gonna get any paint on it or anything like that if you're just using it for that. Uh, so I wanted to add some color to it. Now, if you decide to use it, you know, as as something that you wear when you're painting, don't worry if you're gonna get paint on it, that's okay. So here's my design. Right now, I am so into butterflies. If you follow my Instagram account, you, uh, I'm sure you have seen some of my posts about the alien in my backyard. And what I mean by that is the caterpillar. We had one, uh, as soon as I planted some milkweed, uh, monarch, monarch butterflies, and and I've been kind of keeping an eye and watching it, and right now it's still in a chrysalis, so it has not hatched into a butterfly, so I'm checking it every day, but in the meantime now, I, uh, I have seen other butterflies, monarchs, in my backyard, and as I check my plants, there are several eggs, and there are several uh, tiny little caterpillars that I've already discovered. So I'm going to have a lot of babysitting to do. Um, so because I'm just so infatuated and in love with monarch butterflies, I decided to do that here. Let's see, I'm making sure that you guys can see 
where my lines are. So here's my monarch butterfly in the middle. And then I've uh, added some florals going this way, florals going that way. And I added this fun, awesome word. That's my other new thing. I am so into what I call extraordinary words and these are all just kind of funny words that we we don't hear ever but they have a meaning and sometimes they have a either a greek root or a latin root or a japanese root or you know different types of where they come and some of them i'm sure they're kind of made up but they're still kind of cool so i chose for this the word Flossum, which is basically a combination of two words, floss and awesome. If you kind of put them together and shorten them up, you get flossum, which means um, that although we have floss, we're not perfect. And there is something in here again that I kind of, because of the word, let's see if you can see it in here. Um, although we have floss, we are also very, very awesome, and we all need to accept that. We need to accept that we are awesome, even though we all have flaws. And so my butterfly, <laughs> of course, I was trying to get it perfect. It's kind of hard to erase once you draw something on fabric, on canvas. And I did. Uh, it did kind of work. I used uh, just a regular pencil just a pencil and then sometimes I would erase something and then it would leave little marks on it and I don't know if you can tell but um, I use tape and I would just kind of do this and then lift up the little uh, little shavings that were left behind from the eraser and it kind of worked a little bit but so the butterfly is not symmetrical. These two wings are definitely smaller than these two wings. Uh, but that's the whole point of the word flossum. The butterfly is not perfect. The real ones I'm sure are in, you know, perfectly shaped and uh, symmetrical. Uh, but in my case, my hand-drawn butterfly is just Blossom. And so that's the message, you know, um, not just for ourselves, but also for our art, our creativity, our creations. They might have floss, which I'm sure I might have some floss when it comes to the painting, uh, but they're still awesome. So that's the whole point behind of the drawing, the word, and I hope that you like it. So I wanted to, again, just kind of give you a description of what's happening, what I'm doing about the uh, giveaway, tell you about the paints, about the coupon codes, and uh, let's see how it turns out. I'm sure it's going to be great. Now, um, there is a trick that I'm going to do here. Uh, well, I might as well tell you. So my design was this because there's the pocket here, right? So it's kind of like, um, it's almost like it's framing the drawing, but I've gone outside of the frame a little bit, over here, over here, and over here. So what I've decided to do is that I'm only going to apply paint on the inside of the rectangle, which is the pocket itself. Anything that comes off of the uh, rectangle is only going to be drawn and so I went and bought I was looking for a fabric marker so obviously uh, it would work with you know any other pen if you put water to it uh, or something liquid like the paints it, it's probably going to bleed so I went to Joanne's and I found this it's a Marvi Yoshida pen it's a fabric marker so it should not wash out in case whoever wins this guy um, decides to wash it so it's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna uh, turn out so that's the part of the live video. I'm going to just go ahead and start painting, but I'm going to put a little bit of uh, maybe music on the background and let you guys just watch.
can suggest now that I've been, you know, practicing a little bit with the paint is be careful when you are adding water. There's a little bit of a splatter in here and luckily I got just a tiny little bit in here that you won't ever see. Uh, but I did get a bigger little dot right here, but that's okay. I'm actually probably gonna add a couple more just to be as part of the design and you will never know that that was an accident. Another thing to be conscientious about when you're painting is where your hand is. So you don't want to start at the bottom and work your way up because your hand is going up over the paint that you've already applied and that can be a problem. So when you are uh, using paint or even a pen, sometimes we smudge if the, paint, the ink is not dried. So always remember to draw from top or let's just go with paint. Start painting from the, the top towards the bottom or from the inside out. Because again, you don't wanna have painted the flowers and then come in and paint the butterflies. So I'm trying to remember that because sometimes you just kinda go for it and then you forget. So those are a couple of tips tips that I wanted to give you as I am going along. Um, the other thing is some of these uh, spots that you see on the butterfly, once I let this paint dry, I'll be able to come back on top of that and create a little bit better looking circles. Uh, I think these came out a lot better than these ones over here, but uh, I can come back with the lighter color on top and that should work. The other thing, the other tip I just thought of is when you're painting, you know, you have to think, well, um, sometimes it's easier to cover lighter colors with darker colors. So if let's say I could have done the circles which are going to be pink, I could have done those in pink first because then I could kind of come around with the black uh, and the black is going to cover the pink a lot easier than the other way around. But in my case, uh, because this is kind of thicker paint and once it dries, it's not going to bleed, um, then I should be able to go ahead and add a thicker coat of the lighter color on top of the black and make these little circles a lot neater.
I am done. This took several days because because there were some parts on the painting that I wanted to fix and I did not want the colors to mix. Now, you probably saw how I was adding other uh, shades of the same color here because I did want those colors to blend. Uh, if you can see, um, there's a little bit of difference in texture uh, going on inside of that pink flower and a little bit also in this purple one because I was, again, mixing um, the pinks, a couple of shades of pink and in here a couple of shades of the purple and it was okay for them to blend. But in other parts, like in here, uh, where I want it to be the black to be really sharp, I had to let it dry. Now, I was also using a heating tool to kind of speed up the process of the drying part. Uh, you know, you definitely have to dry, let it dry if you want to go over on top with a different color. So that is one of the tips that I have there. I really like how it turned out. Um, I think the, the whole thing of leaving some areas that are just the sketch, like that are coming outside of the square is kind of a cool new thing that I'm experimenting with. I did sign it. Um, the letters, you know, they're very simple. So uh, maybe a stencil would have been a better choice, but I'm not sure sometimes, you know, when it's paints, uh, especially this type of paint that you want to make sure everything kind of stays where it's supposed to. A stencil might bleed underneath uh, the stencil if you don't um, seal it in correctly. So I didn't want to take a chance. I really like it. I hope that whoever wins this apron will appreciate it and have fun with it. And uh, again, if you're wearing this when you are working on your art, hopefully it is a reminder to be flossom, that it is okay. You know, there is one of the flaws. I did drop a, a little... Uh, little a little bit of the orange color in that's one thing you cannot pick it up if it goes down on the fabric that's it you can't uh, you can't pick it up and fix it because it's there to be permanent so be careful when it comes to that other than that the paints worked wonderfully i really love them once again thank you again to my friends from artisa for sponsoring this um project so that is it, you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, the fabric marker, again, is from Marvi Yoshida. And these two flowers, I felt that it was better for me to kind of uh, outline them so that the colors didn't blend. Uh, so that's something else to consider. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be happy to uh, do my best in answering them. I will have close-ups at the end and find all the links of all the supplies that I have used here in the uh, description below. So thanks again for uh, taking the time and uh, because it took a long time to paint. So thank you again. Until next time, take care.